Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending where and when you are watching this video. My name is Yusuf Mohamed Hosseini. I am a hypnotist helping you to get rid of your depression and burnout. Today I'm going to talk about burnout and the signs that you know that you are burnout because many people think it doesn't happen to me. Yes, it does happen to you or it can happen to you too. Also to children, to um, uh, teenagers, it can happen to everyone. In Holland, when I am living, one out of seven people is diagnosed with burnout. How do we recognize if we are in the, in the surge of, in the verge of burnout or not? Because we just go through it and there are some symptoms that you have to be, uh, be aware of. I'm going to uh, do to make a dis distinction between physical and mental issues. For the physical, you have when when you are when you are feeling completely, extremely uh, exhausted. Nothing. Everything is too much for you. You can't do anything. This is the physical side of it. Before before this happens, you. You had much energy, you could do anything, everything. And now, little thing is just too heavy for you. And you are completely burned out. So, you are completely tired, exhausted. The other one, you cannot sleep properly. Because you cannot sleep properly, your body cannot heal itself. So, this problem that you have is going to uh, to get on top of each other and it become uh, make the matter uh, worse then you get headache there is no explanation why you have headache but you get it when you are on the verge of burnout and then you have some sometimes a uh, st uh, stomach problem egg or uh, intestinal uh, complaints and sometimes you get dizziness so these things, physical aspects of burnout, so please take care of yourself. When you see one of these signs, then just go and um, consult your physician because you may be uh, on the verge of burnout, as I said. Of course, we have also uh, the mental aspects of our burnout and it is so that you are really worried about everything. You are uh, irritated, ex very quickly irritated, something that you didn't have any problem with and now becomes really uh, uh, problematic, problematic for you. And then you, you feel rushed. Uh, when somebody asks you to do something, then you feel that you have been pushed to do that thing. And uh, you, are not, you are not able to enjoy yourself. Before this problem happens, you could really enjoy playing with your with your children if you have children or something that you enjoyed you enjoyed really very much doing that but now it is really you don't enjoy anything anymore and then you uh, you forget things and you, you cannot focus on something and that is the problem that uh, happens when you are at work you cannot you cannot focus and you forget things you, then you have problem at your work Okay, and then then does push you as well into going towards burnout. So these are the signs to look for. And uh, when when these things are not dealt with properly, then it's going to take all your energy away from you, and then you are going to just you, you don't see any. Um, any improvement in your life and then sometimes you you become suicidal suicidal sorry you want to make it to suicide why because there is no no you see no future for yourself okay this this thoughts uh, thoughts coming to you as well and why this happens why burnout happens there are several reasons for it and I just uh, make two distinction something at your work when you are the, at the job and one of them on your your um, your family life okay because when you are at work when you are the, the pressure is too much to uh, to do everything 
and you, you, you cannot really do anything more about it because there's no time yeah, to do things and that's the pressure of your job just pushing you towards burnout. The other one is that when you do your job, you feel that you are not being appreciated. So you do your job, you, you, you try to do your best, but you're not, and you don't feel that you're appreciated. And that is also one of the uh, side effect uh, when, when, you, when the pressure is just too much, your, your superior is not going to pay attention to what you do. So it is your responsibility to just stop when you think it is too much for you. And also the work sphere. It, it can be when you go to your work and then you don't really like it and yeah, it is really uh, troublesome for you, then it can also affect all the burnout. Because in these situations, your stress uh, level is going to go up and yeah, little, little stress is no, no problem because we are, they, they make us sharp and they make us ready to do the things that we want to do. But when the stress go, go on every day and more and more, then it's going to be problematic. And on the family side, it can also cause you stress. And that is when you have a relationship problem. It can happen because you are moving to a new place, new, new expressions, new things, and that can cause you extra stress. And then finance, that is also a problem because when the financial situation is not good enough, then you have, uh, you have come some kind of problem with your, uh, in your family uh, circle and that's going to put pressure on you as well. When, uh, this is a stress really is the begin beginning of burnout and then it, if it goes and it doesn't solve properly then it's going to get to depression because when you are de when when you are depressed you, your body cannot cannot get the, the, the cortisol um, cortisol hormone anymore because it's just getting in your system and then destroy really your 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 immune system you become sick quickly quick quicker and you you don't get uh, healed as uh, as as well as when you don't have a stress and when you don't get enough sleep then it's going to accept uh, that make the situation worse these are the things that cause you to have burnout so please take care of these signs and look at them to see if you have any of these things and when you have take care of yourself consult your uh, your physician and then uh, hopefully you can prevent it before it happens because when it happens it's going to be really terrible for you and for your family and your surrounding and one more thing i want to mention uh, try, try really to search for help because don't, don't just uh, say that I'm going to solve it myself because you cannot do that. They said you cannot see yourself when you are in the picture, okay? Because you can't see the frame when you are in the picture. So somebody have to help you to get you and to, to show you the right direction and you can begin with your, your physician and then, then you'll be sent to proper, proper channels to help you. In my, pra in my practice, I'm, I'm, when you come to me, I'm going to go through certain uh, quest questionnaire in order to ask you to, to, to find how far you are. Because uh, when, when the uh, stress is very high in your, in your body and they are also uh, combined with different emotions, then it's going to make the matter worse. So I'm going to, to talk to you, to um, uh, use, I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to use different meth methodic in order to help you to get all these uh, emotions out of the system. One of the, uh, one of the problem that uh, people have when they go to a specialist, like a psychiatric um, specialist, 
they, uh, they, they are afraid that the, all the shit, all the problem goes to the surface and they are, they are really afraid of it. And that is that wh where we are different from, uh, from the uh, psych psych um, psychologists. Because what we do, we just don't go there. We just get the energy of these emotions out of the system so you don't feel it anymore, okay? This is a difference if you want to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. And for more information, please subscribe to this channel and go to my website and then get much information there. Subscribe to this channel and a thumbs up. Um, share this video with your family, your friends, your colleagues, so they can also see that there are solutions to the problem of burnout. You don't have to deal with it alone. Thank you very much for your attention. Until next time.